Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and I am now going to be giving you hints for clues number 10 and 11. Believe it or not, once you get to 10 and 11, you are very close to the end. So, those of you who get to clue number 10, the first thing that might be going through your head is, WTF, what do I do now? Um, I think if you look at the description of the video for clue number 10 and the title of clue number 10, that should give you a bit of a hint as to what exactly needs to happen. Now, you might not necessarily have the resources or the knowledge to be able to decode clue number 10. Like, you know what needs to happen in order to decode clue number 10. But if you don't have any specific knowledge on how to go about, you know, go about doing the thing that needs to happen to, to decode clue number 10, again, phone a friend, ask a friend. I'm sure somebody should be able to know what they need to do in order to help you with this particular problem. Once you do complete clue number 10, then you can get to clue number 11. The clue for clue number 11, it's divided up into three um, separate pieces. And this one is a cipher. And the hint that I gave over the cipher is that A does not equal to 1. Because that would be way too easy. So how do you figure out the cipher? I mean, there's a lot of different ways that people end up figuring out the ciphers. But one thing I'm going to tell you, just to give you a little bit of a hint, is notice that every single word in the cipher consists of an even number of numbers, an even number of digits. And some of the words have a leading zero. Some of them do. Um, that should give, get you towards the direction of how to figure out that cipher. And if you do, you'll reach clue number 12, which is the final clue. So, in my next video, I will give a hint to how to complete the final clue. And hopefully, a whole bunch of you will reach the end, before the deadline. Until next time, everybody, love yourselves, love each other.